Hello and welcome to this video on the ACA 920 Confluence Essentials exam. This certification is an Atlassian Associate certification and they have intended it for anyone who uses Confluence. Recently I got to take it and I passed, so I wanted to share what I've learned about it and what I think about it with you to help you understand more about it. So first up, what even is it? ACA 920 is a certification that covers how to use Confluence. It includes things like navigating Confluence, basic terminology, what do some of the macros do, how does access work, a whole range of topics that the average person using Confluence should know. A lot of this I learned just by using Confluence, so it is very good for that day-to-day -day stuff. And that's all that it covers. It doesn't dig into being a space administrator or a Confluence admin. It's focused on the people who use Confluence on a day-to-day -day basis for their job. So what's in the exam? Let's pop over to the official documentation and just see what it says. Here we have the official exam details, and as I mentioned, it's all things that a basic user would need to know. Things like how to enhance or improve a page, how does Atlassian intelligence work, or collaborating. Scrolling down, we'll get more information on what percentage of the exam is what topic. Now, 70% of this exam is how to create pages or do basic editing or working on pages. So again, it's focused on the content creator. So if you're thinking of taking the exam, make sure you understand as much as possible about pages. We can also see a note on this that says it does not include any administration. So we don't have to worry about how to manage a user group or control access. And it also doesn't include integrations with other Atlassian products. So even though a common use case is pulling JIRA tickets into Confluence, we don't have to worry about it here in this particular exam. So how do we prepare for ACA 920? Well, the first way to prepare is to take the free Atlassian University course on it. The nice people at Atlassian have made all of their training completely free. This is a really amazing thing because before you might have had to pay for it or find some trainer, but instead you can pop over to Atlassian University and just take the training. And here is that free training. They call it a learning path. And if we scroll down, we'll see who it's for. Someone new to Confluence or looking to use their skill. And then we have all of these links that train specific topics about Confluence. So if you're looking for somewhere to start, this learning path is the best place to begin. It's created by Atlassian and it covers everything that might show up on that exam. Now, the other great way to prepare is just go use Confluence. If your organization has it, Start clicking around and making content. Start helping others edit or collaborate. Talk to other people about how they use it just to help improve your knowledge of the system. If your organization doesn't use Confluence, you can also get a free copy of it for yourself. It does not include Atlassian intelligence or the ability to restrict access to topics that do show up on the exam, but everything else is in there. There's a link up here on how to get your own free copy. And I'll encourage you to get as much hands-on experience as you can while you're preparing for the exam. So here's a couple tips while you're taking that exam. You have 60 minutes to answer 25 questions. So you have over two minutes per question. This was something I had to remember and helped me slow down. I didn't have to rush because I had a lot more time than I thought I did. Also, take time to flag questions. There'll be a little box you can check in the system that lets you come back to a question later. So if you're not sure of the answer, or maybe if you can't tell which one should be correct, take your best guess, flag it, and come back before you finish. This gives you a chance to think about it. When I run into a question that I don't have an immediate answer to, I'll pick the one that I think is correct, and then move on. And then later when I come back, I'll have had some extra time to let it just sit in my head and hopefully get a better response. Another thing you should do is eliminate incorrect answers. There'll be four or five options and many of them will be very obviously wrong. So take time to look at the answers that are possible and then to mentally eliminate the ones that are obviously incorrect. At the very least, this will make it easier for you to guess which one's correct. I do have some final thoughts on the exam I wanna share. I am a big fan of training and certification for systems because it gives us an opportunity to learn how they work and also to prove our knowledge to other people. And to me, this makes a lot of sense for some of Atlassian's professional certifications. For example, how to manage Confluence Cloud or how to manage Jira. Typically, administrators need these certifications as part of a job requirement or some kind of other responsibility to a governmental agency. But typically, general users aren't expected to be certified in a system like this. 
And this is where I'm not entirely sure the value of the certification. I found it interesting to go through this just to see what does it last and expect someone to know. But I don't think I would ever expect someone on my team to be certified in Confluence Basics. I could expect that they would go in and know how to use it. But I don't know how much value I'd place on this particular certification in my job. That said, again, I'm a big fan of getting these certifications because they prove to both yourself and to others that you know what you're doing and what you're talking about in a system. For many people, though, it might just be worth to take that free Atlassian University training to get the skills and then save the exam fee of $100 for something else that you want to go do. So what do you think? Are you going to take the ACA 920? Do you have other thoughts about it? Share them down in the comments and share this video with others. And if you like it, please like it and subscribe for more. Thanks for taking time to learn a little bit about ACA 920. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in another one of these soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.